What is up, bots? Welcome back to the Bot King channel. I am the Bot King, and today we are going to be talking about getting the x ray texture pack and getting an auto mining mod. Let's start off with the auto mining mod. Now, this auto mining mod is called Baritone. Some of you might have heard of it, some of you might not have. But this Baritone requires this thing called the Minecraft Forge. Now, this Minecraft Forge has to be 1.16.5 if you want to run it on the latest servers or uh, just the latest version in general, obviously. So, in order to get the Forge, you're going to have to come to this website right here, files.minecraftforge.net. Once you're on to this website, uh, make sure to type that in, I'll give you a few seconds. After that, you're going to want to head over to 1.16 up here on the Minecraft version. It should bring you to this uh, already, just automatically, but you might want to come here manually just for safe, uh, just for safety, yeah. Uh, come to 1.16, make sure to click on 1.16.5. You can choose other versions if you want to run mods in those versions. Um, I might do a video in the future showing you how to incorporate any mod. Um, but for today, we're going to be looking at Baritone. So, for Minecraft Forge, you're going to want to press on the Installer button. Once you press on the Installer button, it will bring you to this page where you will not click anything. You should probably see an ad here, but since I am running ad blocker, I will not be seeing that ad. If you do see one, do not click anything. Wait until this skip button appears. Once this button appears, you're going to want to click it. And this should get you a download at the bottom here. Let me just make sure you guys can see this download here. Yep. You're going to want to press keep. This file will not harm you, I swear. Okay. Once you have this downloaded, you're going to want to press open when done. All right. Once that open when oh, once that is open and done, um, I will walk you through from there. Okay. So I've just uninstalled Forge from my computer. We are going to walk it through it together. So you're going to press open when done, and it's going to open this file once it's completely done. Do not click off of this site yet. Just wait for this file to finish. Once you click that, you should get this tiny uh, install page. Um, you're going to click on install client, all right, and you're going to click on OK. It will run through a bunch of code, which you can't see right now, but do not worry. Everything is fine. You can see code is running. And when it is done, I will show you what to do. So, you can see right here that it says, um, success. Maybe you can't see it. You can't see it. But anyways, um, yeah, it says successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.16.5 forge 36.1.4 into launcher okay so here you can see in the corner that we have forge right here now what you're going to want to do if you don't see this is go to own installations all right once you head over to installations you're going to press new you're going to name this whatever you want it does not matter and you're going to try and find Release 1.16.5, Forge 36.1.4. Alright, it could be anywhere from the top to all the way to the bottom. All you have to do is find it, and then press Create at the bottom right there. Now, if, we, if you found this and you have it completely done, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to go back to Google Chrome. You're going to want to type in baritone download now um, it took me a while to find the correct link before but you're going to want to go to github.com slash cabaletta slash baritone slash releases that's github.com slash cabaletta slash baritone slash releases you're going to want to go all the way down to 
the baritone standalone forge. Now, but wait! Do not click on this. This is a trap that I and a lot of other people have fallen into before. This says version 1.2.15. We are running 1.16.5. So you're actually going to want to come down to version 1.6.3 where it says for Minecraft 1.6.15 only. You're going to press down on this assets button here and you're going to find baritone standalone forge 1.6.3.jar. It should consist of about 403 kilobytes, and you're going to press on that bad boy. It will now give you a file, and you're going to keep that file like before, and you're going to press open when done. Now it is going to be, um, now when it is done, it will disappear off your screen, and it will actually not open anything, and that's completely fine. You're going to want to come down here to type here to search, and you're going to type in percent app data percent all right that's percent app data percent okay now you're gonna come back oh you're gonna uh, once you get here you're gonna go to mod dot minecraft you're gonna scroll down to mods where you can see that your folder should be empty if you already know all of this and you already have your mods folder and you got some mods in there then that's great all you have to do is open another file explorer tab Go to your downloads, find the baritone that you just put in, and smack it in there. Now, some people might wonder what if you want to run uh what if you want to run Optifine with baritone? Well that's perfectly possible. All you gotta do is open up another Chrome tab, put in Optifine download, and download Optifine. If you don't know how to do that, uh, well, then you're going to go over to optifine.net slash downloads. You're going to go over to downloads. You're going to type in optifine HD UG7. All right, you're going to find this right here. You're going to press download. And what you're going to do is you're basically going to drag and drop the file into the mods folder like we did with the baritone. Let me demonstrate right here. Remember, you're not going to click anything here. You're going to skip this part. You're going to press download one more time, and you are going to get this thing here. It'll probably lead you to another site like it did with me, but, you know, with all this download stuff, you're going to run into some shady stuff. As long as your file is clean, that's all that matters. Now, um, once you get this Optifine all done and dusted, if you run into a problem of not having something like Java, well, then, first of all, the first way to know is if your icon does not have this Java cup on it. Now, this is something that should be done at the start, so if you run into any problem with this, um, here is how to fix it. If your icon is not a Java cup like this, this means that you do not have Java installed. Now, if you do not have Java installed, that's perfectly fine. All you gotta do is you gotta type in Java download, and that will bring you to this page of Google where you're gonna go down to go to download. You're gonna press on that. Let me just move my Optifine over to the correct folder. Um, and you are going to press on Java download. All right, once done that, you're gonna go down to agree and start free download. <coughs> And that will give you this folder. After that has happened, you're going to want to press on that and follow all the steps like installer and stuff. I already have Java and I don't want to break it. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions about that, make sure to leave it in the comments. But anyways, your forge should be all done now. I would recommend closing it and reopening it just for safekeeping. But... It should be good to go. Now you're going to press play and I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, once you've loaded in to the Minecraft screen, you will see the regular Minecraft screen here. You have... I will show... I'm about to show you um, what... How this works, alright? So let's hop into a single player Minecraft world. Once you load in, I'm going to teach you the commands for how to use Baritone, how Baritone operates, and how it all works in general. So let's get these lag spikes out of the way, and let's get started. Alright, so, the, the first thing I'm going to show you is Baritone's ability to switch between 
tools. I think, personally, I think this is the coolest thing of Baritone so far, among with a lot of other cool things that happen. So, let me show you uh, right now. Uh, let me just um, raise the sound a little bit. Alright, here we go. So, what you're going to want to type in chat is you're going to want to type in hashtag mine diamond ore. Now, whatever you are trying to get, whatever you're trying to get in this world, uh, it has to be done with a command like this. Hashtag mine, and then something uh, underscore the second word, alright? So you can't just put it all with no space. Um, but as you can see here, um, Baritone utilizes the ability of the pickaxe, and it will switch to the shovel whenever needed i am not moving at all right now guys it is determining paths on its own it is moving by itself and if you have it it can build by itself as well so if you grab um nerd blocks uh <laughs> nerd block nerd piling blocks it can nerd pile on its own when it feels it has to to get to a block um and it avoids lava, and you, you can see it's instantly changed to its netherite shovel right when it got to gravel. And I'm not controlling it at all. My hands are completely off the keyboard right now. It is completely moving on its own. And, uh, yeah, the way to stop it is to press hashtag stop. Now, I know what you're wondering. You're probably wondering, but Layton, but king of bots, how in the world do I, um... How in the world do I uh, use this in the nether? Well, it's exactly the same. And it actually works in the nether too, which is amazing. Uh, so if I just light, light this nether portal right here, you will be able to see that we arrive in the nether. Now, oops, um, you're going to want to type in hashtag mine. Um, if you're trying to mine gold ore, um, in the nether it's not actually called gold ore. Um, it will be called nether underscore gold underscore ore that will lead you to the gold ore in the nether um that's that if you want ancient debris it's the same hashtag mine ancient debris um it it self plans its course it moves your body it changes tools all while avoiding lava any falling blocks and also having the ability to set, uh, x-ray it while so you see it didn't break this diamond block because it knew that there was lava underneath it which is super cool now if you want to find dungeons and stuff you can also do that if you type in hashtag mine spawner it will immediately find the nearest spawners right which I think is super cool. The last thing I have to show you is what we also downloaded earlier, which was the Optifine. Um, that all works with Baritone as well. It works with any mod at all, uh, as long as you stick it into that mod file and you run Forge as your Minecraft launcher. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Baritone and Optifine. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to ask me, and I'll be sure to answer them in the next video, or I'll just reply to that comment with the answer. Um, if you run into any problems trying to download Baritone or trying to use Baritone, uh, make sure to comment down below as well. Uh, share this to any friends who want to do some auto mining hacks in their YouTube, in their Minecraft worlds. Um, and the last thing, but not least, is that I'm going to show you that this works on servers. So if I hop into multiplayer right here, uh, there's an S there's a SMP. Um, this is not my SMP, by the way. Um, I'm just in here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can do all the same thing. So if I were to, I can't mine diamond or I don't have the materials right now. But if I did oak log, oak underscore log. It would find the nearest oak log. It would give you the x-ray vision as well, which I think is super cool. And it will mine it all, all while avoiding um, lava, uh, 
and it will also take the least amount of fall damage as possible. It can, if you're trying to mine obsidian, if there's lava underneath, it can literally mine that block safely. So, right, if there's, if there's a block, if there's lava underneath here, and there's a block here, it can literally mine it, and since there's lava underneath, it will help you place a block, it will place a block for you, and then it will mine this obsidian over here, which I think is super cool. I think baritone is definitely worth it, completely free, and uh, it works in the newest version, which is really nice. Um, yeah, make sure to comment down below how baritone worked out for you, and uh, cheat to your heart's content. Uh, bye!